Yo, what's going on guys, it's Shaco TG, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys some tips to help you rank up, no matter what your rank it is, silver, gold, plat, diamond, anything, I'm going to be giving you guys some tips to help you push that next rank. Before the video starts, if you guys enjoyed the video, do be sure to subscribe, I post content like this daily, I do daily tips content and gameplay content so if you enjoy the video do be sure to like and subscribe it really does help me out and be sure to comment your favorite tip and if you have any other tips for any other players be sure to drop them below anyways now to the video the very first tip i have for you guys is to three stack or five stack now if you guys have watched my recent tips video you guys will know that i talked about how you need to be at least three stacking four stacking or five stacking now the reason for this is if you have at least you and your two other friends you will always be able to pick whatever map you want in map bands what, what operator band you want what bomb set you want to go to anything like that it's very important that you have at least two other friends with you while you're trying to rank up but the most optimal thing would be to five stack five stack is the absolute best way to rank up there is no other better way to rank up besides playing with four other friends okay so really try to shoot for at least two other people with you but you really want to get a five stack if you can i know it can be really difficult to find people to play with uh, so i know a lot of people ask me on my twitch streams well i know the five stack but where do i find people to play with well, I'd recommend uh, joining people's discords, joining Pangu's discord, Bolo's discord. Uh, a lot of these content creators have like looking for group chats or, you know, ranked chats. And you can ask people to play. Like even my discord, I have uh, looking for group chat. So I'll have the link to my discord below if you guys want to join that. But even like the official R6 discord, there's people, Instagram, Twitter, Reddit, all sorts of things. You can find people to play with all the time. But if you don't want to do that route, you could also just be really friendly in your solo queue games. Just be calling out reinforcing, playing properly, being nice, and see if you can make some friends there. That's how I did it at least. Next up is comms. When you have that five stack, you need to have comms. People can't be trolling. You know, you can't be talking about random stuff mid round. It needs to be about the round and what's going on. You never want to have people like complaining too much and all that when they're when they're dying or whatever. The comms need to be about that round and about the game. It's very important because if your comms are really cluttered, it could easily get one of your teammates killed and lose you the round. So you really need to make sure that when you're in a stack, the comms are good. Next up is utility. It's very, very important that everyone in the stack uses their utility. Now you'll see I'm kind of directing these tips towards like a five stack or at least a three or four stack. Um, because I do feel as, as if that's the best way to rank up. So that's how I'm going to be directing these tips. But anyways, everyone in the stack needs to be using all of their utility. If you're Ash, use your flashbangs. If you're Thermite, make sure you're using both your Thermite chargers. Some people only use one Thermite charge. You have two Thermite chargers. Try to use both those if you can. If you're Thatcher, make sure you're timing it, your Thatcher grenades with your teammates to make sure Thermite can get the wall or, or whatever it may be. You know, if you're on defense, use all of your reinforcements. I understand there's a reinforcement pool, but that doesn't mean you don't get to reinforce, okay? Unless you have an absurdly long setup as like mute or something, you should be reinforcing, all right? Put your barbed wire down, your ADSs, all of that. You need to be sure you're using your utility. This meta is the utility meta. It's the gadget meta. These operators have gadgets and secondary gadgets for a reason. You want to try to use all of them. Whoever uses their gadgets better and their secondary gadgets better is usually going to come out on top in this meta. So it's really, really important that you're doing this and utilizing your utility properly. My fourth tip is going to be aim training. You know, of course, if you're not the Ash player or the entry player, you know, your aim doesn't need to be on point. But it is nice that everyone in the stack um, is, you know, on point with their aim or at least a little bit warmed up. So I'm not going to go too in depth on this, but I kind of just want to bring it up. Just kind of TM before, do a little bit of aim training, warm up before you play. It's always really important to just do like 20, 30 minutes of warm up before you start the day for ranked. Um, I've got an aim training video. I have a how to find your sense video, movement video, all of those sort of videos in the description in my tips playlist. So if you guys want a more in-depth thing on exactly how to do all this, then be sure to watch those videos. But next up, we have roles. It's really important to find your role. Just as I was saying, you know, not everybody's on that ash role. Not everyone's on that entry role. But 
everyone has their own role if if you're the best ash player if you're the best entry player then you should be on entry you know if you're not so good at entering you, you maybe die first when you're on ash you know try to go in as thermite or something be that droner for your ash you, you need to figure out what your role is and play it if you try to force the wrong role it's not going to work out too well for you you know you don't want your you don't want your least mechanically skilled player on Ash. It's just not going to end well for you. You want that guy probably droning in your Ash. You know what I mean? So it's sort of just a little example for you guys. But just things like that. Just try to figure out what your role is and what everyone else's role in the stack is. You know, when you're queuing for the game, be like, yo, so this person's going to play Thermite. This person's going to play Zofia. This guy's on Sledge. Things like that. That way, when you get into the game, you're fully prepared to take that W. Next up is time management. Now this is mainly talking for the attack. I've noticed a lot of people, they tend to sit outside and they kind of just hold angles or they aren't really sure what to do. So I'm gonna give you guys kind of a brief attacking guide, okay? These are the things you wanna do when you're attacking in Siege, all right? When you spawn in, you have like 15 seconds to get from your spawn, check for spawn peaks and get to like close to the building, like close to where you're gonna entry from. And if you're a droner, you need to be droning right off rip and just trying to get your entry players in the building, okay? No one should be outside the building for that long unless you're a droner, all right? You need to be droning your entry players in and your entry players need to be pushing off those drones. It's very, very important that you guys have great time management, okay? Because you have three minutes to get from spawn to the building, drone out the whole map, get your map control, set up your execute, and then execute. At the end of the day, the game is all about getting the bomb down on attack okay so if you guys have poor time management you may not get that bomb down and you may end up losing the game or even the round because of it so it's really important that you guys have great time management the next up is mindset you need to have the proper mindset before going into playing if you're in a really bad mood or something like that and you just really aren't in the best mindset to be playing you probably shouldn't be playing if you feel as if you really don't want to play but you're just doing it because you want to get that that next rank or whatever i swear it's going to cost you your elo it's really important that you only play when the vibes are up and you feel as if everyone is ready to play and actually wants to win even if there's one person that's not feeling it that whole stacks vibe could just be brought down by that one person so make sure before you queue up everybody in the stack has a great mindset you really don't want anyone to be in a bad mood or not wanting to play never force your friends to play if they don't want to that is how you're going to lose elo it's always best to wait and make sure everyone's in the right mood and then queue that's when the vibes are going to be up the most and you're going to win the most amount of game but anyways guys that's going to be all for this video hope you guys learned something and if you did again be sure to like and subscribe i'm on my way to 100k subs at 100k subs i'm going to be dropping my first set of merch so if you guys are excited for that again do be sure to subscribe uh, if you guys have any other tips be sure to drop them in the comments below i want to help as many people out as we can but as always guys thanks for watching